Welcome to room number two. Um, in my first room, I've got the incubator, the rats, and the deus. Um, in this room here, I've got my ball pythons, my crested geckos, feeder mice, and hedgehogs. Here we start on hedgehogs. This is how I keep mine set up. It is warm enough in this room that I really don't need cheese for them. But if you were to have a hedgehog in a normal home where you got your AC running, you're definitely going to want to cheat or they're going to want to try to hibernate on you. I um, definitely don't want your hedgehogs to hibernate and not eat, they will die. So my setups are really simple to clean. I keep all of my hedgehogs set up with kiln dried pine bedding. They get hide, they get food and water both in a bowl, and then they get a water bottle as a backup. And they get a wheel. You should not just give a hedgehog a water bottle because with a water bottle only, they're gonna destroy their teeth. The water bottle is just kind of a backup in case their water gets too dirty or something like that. Um, I definitely make sure they always have water in a bowl. I change their bedding out once a week. I really don't have any issue with the smell. The worst part of keeping hedgehogs is that they need a wheel. And unfortunately, they poop all over their wheel when they walk. So once a week, I take their wheel out and I take it outside and I hose, hose it off, clean it up before I put it back in there. So we're going to pull the hedgehogs down, change out all their bedding, get them taken care of. And definitely going to show them off a little bit. So I use water bottle and holder like this, food and water bottles, and I use this kind of hide right here. That is not wood, it's actually ceramic, um, it just looks wooden. So it's not the reptile wooden hides you would find at the pet store. I actually did find these at a local pet store, but they're not wooden. You don't want to use a wooden hide, it's going to get gross, it's going to start to mold, and you want to use something that's going to hold up, some plastic or ceramic. Moving Rick. This is Ricky. I'm going to clean his enclosure first. Set him up here so you guys can take a look at him. He has some real cool colors. I just set him in a plastic tub while I clean theirs out. They're pretty low maintenance. As far as care for a hedgehog, it's pretty simple. They change their bedding once a week, and then every day they get fresh food and fresh water, and they get some interaction and some playtime, which is pretty easy because my kid is head over heels for these hedgehogs. I'm actually going to see I two separate bowls, food and water. I'm actually going to clean this before they get put back, but I'm going to give him back bedding and his hide. He's not going to get his wheel back right away because I am going to clean that. So again, there's, there's Rick. And right back in his hide he goes. The next girl I'm pulling out, her name is Brownie. Um, I actually produced her here. Um, she was one of the very first litters I produced. Hopefully Brownie is pregnant. I have been pairing her. Well, I paired her for a week. When I pair my hedgehogs, what I do is I introduce the female to the male's enclosure for a week. Um, after that, I pull them apart and should see babies within 45 days of them being introduced. Ideally. Um, if you leave a male in with a female, you're going to have a situation where she's very likely to be stressed out, possibly miscarry, um, and if you leave them in there full term and the babies are born, she's going to eat them. Hedgehogs need to be left alone when they're pregnant and not be stressed out. They also need to be left alone when they first have the babies and so that they're not stressed out or they will eat them. Come here, Brownie. She's got lots of pine in her quills. I'm going to clean her up before I show her off. All right. So here's Brownie. Since I produced her. 
and she's just been paired recently for the first time. Um, I actually wrote the dates on the container, I always do. I paired her on 6-3 and left the male and female together for a week. So hopefully we'll have a litter of hedgehog babies coming from that pairing. You never know how many you're going to get. Um, my first litter of hedgehogs was six um, by a different female. Um, my second litter of hedgehogs was only three. And unfortunately, one of them did not make it. So I've got two. And you're going to get to see them here in a minute because I, I do have them. I'm just doing their enclosure last. So, let's say goodbye to Brownie again. Oh, I gotta get some more bedding out of my supply closet over here. And I don't have a pocket back in here, of course. Let that be in the room. All right. This one has got babies in it. So I do have two hedgehog babies right now that are a few weeks old. I'll show off their mama and then I'll show off them. So this is mama. Hi, sweetheart. And then here are the babies. These are just a few weeks old. They're starting to open their eyes. And here's the second baby. Can you turn around? I have not sexed them yet to see if they're boys or girls or what's going on with any of that. I normally don't do that until they're about five weeks old, um, if not waiting a little longer. Um, hedgehogs wean between six and eight weeks. Um, I really don't like to wean them at six weeks. I think it's too early. They need a little bit more time with mom. I try to stay closer to eight weeks with the hedgehogs. I'm going to fill my trash bag, but I don't want to get another trash bag. Okay, so that is pretty well it for cleaning the hedgehog enclosures. Like, they, they don't make a huge mess. There's nothing for me to scrub out. I'm gonna get them put back in here and then I'm gonna take their wheels outside and hose them off. Which the wheels won't take but a couple minutes to clean. So really not that bad. Hedgehogs need a wheel, they need the exercise. It is absolutely a requirement. I do take the wheel away from uh, mamas right after they've had babies. And that's just to keep the babies from getting hurt on accident. And I give it back to her when I wean the babies. So, let me show off our mama again real quick. Diet for these guys is going to be hedgehog food. You can find it at pet stores. And then they love mealworms as treats. Love them. I actually breed mealworms. So, I always have mealworms on stock and do give them treats often. that is it for the hedgehogs. I'm going to get these guys book pack on their shelf, run outside and get their wheel cleaned up 
And uh, then we'll move on to the next critters we're showing off today. Thanks for watching.